Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your January 2019 uh, mid-month general reading. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Welcome to any new people. Uh, thanks for all your support, comments, and feedbacks. Like, share, subscribe for those of you who continue to follow. Thanks to all of my clients out there as well for the personal one-on-one -on -one readings that always keep me so busy. Uh, if any of you are interested in a personal reading with me and you haven't read with me before, you've forgotten the info, you can get more info and contact details by clicking on the description bar of the videos I post or going to my channel's homepage and clicking on the little about button there. You can email me directly at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd be delighted to work with you. I can usually get back to you within the same day or the first 24 hours of your initial contact with more info. And scheduling is pretty good too. I do readings full time. It is all that I do five to six days a week, sometimes seven days a week. So I'm pretty diligent at working with people's schedules uh, to get them a reading in a timely fashion. And I do a wide variety of readings in all areas of life. Uh, so there's a few to choose from. Uh, send me an email. We'll go from there. You can also find me on the smartphone app Instant Go under Irish Gypsy. Uh, and that's pretty good for quick answers to the quick easy questions or one question, one answer options as well. So something else to think about. All right, let's get right into this. This reading is for Taurus, the earth sign of Taurus for the remainder of January 2019. We're looking at the last couple of weeks of January. General readings always resonate a little differently for everybody watching, as those of you know. So we always suggest to watch your rising and moon sign videos if you know them, because uh, that can give you a, a bigger picture, or more clarification on what's going on in your life. All right, let's see what's going on for Taurus for the last half of January. 2019. <clears throat> okay, Taurus, we begin with the Queen of Swords, followed by the Hanging Man. We have the Star, followed by the Lovers. And from the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance is the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. I'm going to pull some clarifying cards <coughs> for this Ten of Pentacles because it looks like there's a pretty significant choice on the table to make, pretty uh, especially for a lot of you, maybe more towards the end of January. And I feel like it's based on information that's coming in. And it's a, and this could be, uh, usually this is about a significant relationship, your primary relationship. Um, it can be about the relationship or it can be a decision about something else which is going to affect that relationship. Sometimes it can represent choosing between two people because it used to be called the choice card in relationships, uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're choosing between two people, although some of you might be. I want to see what this Ten of Pentacles is about. The Nine of Pentacles, independence, self-sufficiency, sufficient, self-empowerment, being able to take care of yourself, working hard to take care of yourself and really enjoying it, followed by the Hierophant and the Ten of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you, whatever this decision is, I feel like for many of you, it's either going to be about a long-term marriage or relationship or about perhaps money, estate, financial matters that's going to significantly impact your primary relationship because there's a decision on the board that's going to affect um, the lives of someone that you're intimately connected with, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend. Uh, it might be for some of you a triangular situation choosing between two people. I feel like some of you, um, I don't feel like a, a large portion of you, but I feel like some of you uh, you may be trying to make a decision on whether or not to <sighs> separate, divorce, uh, and and how to do that, like what the process would be, maybe perhaps even, you know, division of assets, home, children, etc. Because, I, I mean, all of the clarifying cards I pulled for this Ten of Pentacles, which represents the long, uh, re which represents a sense of abundance, stability, and security that comes from the long, slow accumulation of what went into building it. In relationships, this would represent a long-term relationship or marriage, uh, a long-term job or 
career path, you know, retirement. Uh, it used to be called the inheritance card, which could be family home, family property, family business, family estate. Again, a lot of time went to building it up to where it is now. Um, and then clarification, there's this independence, taking care of yourself, uh, and the, the happy home card, home, marriage, family, blessings, and the Hierophant, which is also one of the marriage cards. And then you have this lover. So there's definitely a, a very significant decision, um, you know, on the table in uh, particularly in the last half of January and maybe more towards the end. I feel like this is a situation which is going to continue to play out. I don't feel like many of you are going to make this decision over the next couple of weeks, nor should you, uh, because obviously this is obviously whatever side of the story that you're on, this is going to have a significant impact on your home and family life, regardless of whether it's about staying within a relationship or not. Uh, you may have found out that somebody cheated on you or vice versa, if that's the case. Some of you, it may be an actual inheritance situation or uh, there is a, a fruition coming in or you may be coming into some money or family property or family business. And this decision may be about, you know, what do we do with the money? Is it time to retire? How does this impact my home and my family situation as well? You know, some of you, it may be whether to, you know, whether to get married or not, whether to have a family or add to your family. Again, the, I mean, when I first laid the cards down, I got barraged with four or five different stories. It's going to mean different things to different people out there. You know, that's kind of sometimes the tricky nature of general readings. But the energy and advice is fundamentally the same. It looks like a very important decision. I feel here with the Queen of Swords and the Hanging Man that you're being asked in the last you know, half of January to think very clearly and very insightfully and not make this decision right now because the hanging man kind of hangs back because he understands uh, that there's divine timing and orchestration at play here, even though he may want to rush in there and do something and force an outcome. He doesn't. He hangs back temporarily because things are still playing out. And I get the impression too, for some of you who are considering ending a long-term marriage or relationship because you may have heard some information about, you know, maybe some cheating or infidelity or the question of that. There's a question of that. I feel like you don't have all the information yet. So be careful about rushing in and spontaneously making some decision or blowing something up. Because what crowns that lover's card, that decision that's going to impact this relationship is the star, which is a card of renewed hope, faith, and optimism, which usually shows up after a struggle, a period of time or sickness or challenge. It could have been a long-term illness with you or your partner as well. Um, some of you may be deciding to reconcile or continue on with a relationship that may have had some very, some a lot of difficulties uh, or even a separation or breakup period as well. Some of you, this other person may be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And you may be waiting on somebody else to make this decision as well. The Queen of Swords and the Hanging Man can represent, I feel like for a lot of you, this is the other person that's primarily significant for you, male or female, uh, air sign or not. And they may be, uh, you know, it, it may be that the bulk of the decision, you're waiting for them to make a decision too. Um, I feel like at the end of the day though, meaning the end of January, although I, I, I feel like many of you aren't, may not be making this decision quite yet or the other person isn't until the end of January or the first part of February, but I feel like there's a lot of opportunity here for healing and I feel like that feeling becomes quite strong at the end. Again, it may be that you're waiting on a decision for someone or someone is waiting on a decision for you and it feels like that decision is positive at the end of the month. And it really has a positive, beautiful, beneficial uh, effect on your home and family for many of you. Now, those of you who are going through a divorce or this issue is about divorce, obviously that's not going to be the case. Um, but it's still, even for those of you in that situation, it still looks like at the end of January, at the beginning of February, even if you may have decided to separate or divorce, I feel like there is some resolution and a sense of what is the best way that we can do this moving forward. For others of you, this is a straight up about a financial issue or a retirement issue or inheritance issue. And it, again, uh, that has a very beautiful beneficial effect on your home and family as well, Taurus. 
So Taurus, that pretty much wraps up your January uh, 2019 mid-month reading. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, again, if any of you are interested in a more personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, uh, you can click on that little about button on my YouTube channel's homepage or click on the description bar of any of the videos I post. Please feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I would be happy to work with you. Uh, I do love and romance, of course, relationship compatibility readings, reconciliation potential. I do career work and finance finance readings as well as investment readings. And um, I also do six and 12 month overviews, which people order all during the year, but they seem to be quite popular during between the time of November and February as we transition out of one year and into another year, uh, because they take a look at what's coming in all the main areas of your life over a six or 12 month period of time, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, so something else to consider as well. I will see you all again, Taurus, in a couple of weeks for the February 2019 general readings. And until then, as always, joy, peace, blessings. And uh, I hope you have a continued uh, first month of this great new year. Take care. Bye-bye.